Toviyahu Tobit ate. And when they had supped, they brought Toviyahu in unto her. And as he went, he remembered the words of Raphael, and took the ashes of the perfumes, and put the heart and the liver of the fish thereupon, and made a smoke therewith, the smell which when the evil Ruach had smelled, he fled into the utmost parts of Mitzrayim, and the angel bound him. And after that they were both shut in together. Toviyahu rose out of the bed and said, Sister, arise, and let us pray that Elohim would have pity on us. Then began Toviyahu to say, Blessed are you, O Elohim of our fathers, and blessed is your holy and glorious name forever. Let the hev heavens bless you and all your creatures. You made Adam and gave him Chua, his woman for a helpmeet and stay. Of them came mankind. You have said it is not good that man should be alone. Let us make unto him an aid like unto himself. And now, O Yahuwah, I take not this my sister for lush, but uprightly. Therefore mercifully ordain that we may become aged together. And she said with him, Amen. So they slept both that night, and Reuel arose and went and made a grave, saying, I fear lest he also be dead. But when Reuel was come into his house, he said unto his woman Edna, Send one of the maids, and let her see whether he be alive. If he be not, that we may bury him, and no man know it. So the maid opened the door, and went in, and found them both asleep, and came forth, and told them that he was alive. Then Reuel praised Elohim and said, O Elohim, you are worthy to be praised with all pure and holy praise. Therefore let your Kodashim praise you with all your creatures, and let all your angels and your elect praise you forever. You are to be praised, for you have made me joyful, and that is not come to me which I suspected, but you have dealt with us according to your great mercy. You are to be praised because you have made mercy of two that were the Yahid children of their fathers. Grant them mercy, O Yahuwah, and finish their life in health with joy and mercy. Then Reuel bade his servants to fill the grave, and he kept the wedding feasts fourteen days. For before the days of the marriage were finished, Reuel had said unto him by an oath that he should not depart till the fourteen days of the marriage were expired. And then he should take the half of his goods and go in safety to his father and should have the rest when I and my woman be dead. <laughs>